All right, so now that we know what Amazon FBA is and how to leverage it, how do we sell on Amazon? What are the ways that we can use Amazon FBA, right? And that leads to frequently asked question number two, which is what is private label and why is it the best way to sell on Amazon? Now that is what I do. I am a private label seller and that is exactly what I help people to do. I help them create multiple six and seven figure private label Amazon businesses. Now. What private label is, is when you source and sell a product under your own brand rather than someone else's brand, all right? So you are actually the brand owner, you own the product, you own the brand, and you have control over that product. So there are two ways that you can sell on Amazon FBA, right? There's multiple ways to use it. Here are the two ways you can actually sell on Amazon FBA. Number one is gonna be private label. You could sell private label products, which is you selling your own stuff, right? And number two, is reselling, which is you selling someone else's stuff. So you can sell your own products or you could resell and sell somebody else's products. Now let's go to a live example so I can show you exactly what this looks like, okay? So here is an example now of reselling. So there's two ways to resell. You could do retail or online arbitrage, which is basically you going to Walmart and Target and Marshalls and different stores, finding maybe you find a couple of these gloves, right? Or you find some product, it's selling on Amazon for 78 bucks and you found it for 50 and so you're flipping that product, right? It's a resell type of thing. You could do that at the stores or you could go on walmart.com and try to do the same thing. You're buying low, you're selling high, right? That's one way to do it. The second way is wholesaling. And so you can go to Wilson and say, hey, I'll buy 5,000 of these gloves. They give you a wholesale price and then you sell these on Amazon. Now here's the difficult part because I've done every single model on Amazon and I finally got my play, myself to do private label and that's where I achieved massive scale and I just it solved all of the problems I was going so, going through. So I've done all of these models. Now let me show you why selling other people's stuff, right? Doing the resell model on Amazon is extremely extremely difficult to make money. Now, so you see these Wilson gloves for example, right? Now you see this it's $78, everything looks great. Now, what we have over here is called the buy box, right? All of this stuff right here is the buy box. So if somebody comes and they see this glove and they're like, wow, this is great. They could come down here and add it to cart or they could do buy now and it will get ships from Amazon sold by Amazon. So what happens is that Amazon is going to make the money from this product. They're buying Amazon's product. Here's what happens when you're reselling, right? You see all of these down here that you probably don't even know about. There's eight new uh, you know, new products down here and from other sellers on Amazon. So what happens is these guys are hidden, right? These are all the wholesalers and the arbitragers. So you can see somebody has it here for 84 bucks. This is game on closeouts. Somebody has it here for another $84. Final score athletics, 89 bucks, C uh, CPC sports, and more and more and more and more. These are third-party sellers. These are people doing retail arbitrage or possibly wholesale. Now, no one knows that they exist because the only way that you're able to win this buy box is if you have the lowest price. So you could see that Amazon priced this at $78.94 and all of these other sellers are a, over $80, right? And so since they're not the lowest price, they're not gonna get the sale. And so they could sit there forever. And guess what most sellers start to do? And this is the problem with retail arbitrage and the problem with wholesaling is the only way for these people to move their items and to move their inventory is to lower their price to 78, 80 or $77, right? They have to continue to go down and down and down. So what happens? They always cannibalize the profits and it's always a race to the bottom because the only way that these people could start selling these items is if they price it much, much lower. And so one day somebody's gonna come in here and maybe Game On Closeouts decides to go ahead and sell this at $77. And then the next day somebody sees that and then uh, Al Sporting Goods comes in here, sells it for 76 and the game just continues all the way down to the bottom. Nobody makes money. And the reason for that is, is they're selling someone else's brand. They do not have control over the price, over the pictures, over the buy box, over anything that they do because they are under the control of someone else. So it's just like working a nine to five job. You have a boss and you're under the control of somebody else and they're kind of telling you what to do. When you're reselling, you're under the control of another brand, okay? So that's the example. And now next time you're on Amazon, you could see all of these other sellers over here. I bet you didn't even know that these existed. And guess what? Shoppers don't know that they exist either. So it's incredibly hard to get that traffic, right? Now, 
let me show you some private label products. And here's the difference with these private label products. So do you see this right here? It's the BB Kids Store. This is a private label seller. This is somebody that created their own brand and now they sell indoor baby swings. And check this out. You see the buy box? They're selling it for $39.99. You see down here, there's no one else on this listing. Why? Because as private label sellers, we own the brand, we own the product, and we own the buy box. There are no other sellers competing for the sale. There are not multiple people on our listing competing for the sale. It's only us. So if somebody buys this product, we make the money, right? What else can we do as a private label seller? We can control our pictures. So what we can do is you can see this right here. We can control so they could show why theirs is better than everybody else's. What we're doing is using buyer psychology. We want to give people a reason to shop with us. Hey, why is our swing better than everybody else's? So we could take pictures and we could do infographics and we could write um, good captions and listings and have you know different models and make a video and show people why they should shop with us versus the glove where you have no control over any of this stuff, right? So with this product, and you can see if we want to sell it for $39.99, $39 that's awesome. If we want to sell it for 50 bucks, we can. If we want to drop the price, we can. We have complete control over our product, our brand, and our offering. And that is huge, huge, huge leverage, right? That's private label. And that's giving you control over your own business. And so you can see here, that's a huge benefit. And here's another one. I just want to give you one more example, right? This insulated meal prep lunchbox, right? By ThinkFit. So this is a private label seller. It's a private label product. You can see that it's got uh, over 8,000 reviews now. You know, um, you can see here, sold by ThinkFit. So that's a private label seller. He's selling it for 45 bucks. And again, there's no one else on this listing. No one else on this listing. It's just him. And so he's able to look at, like, look at the pictures, right? He's able to really paint a good picture and have a good quality listing and look like a multi-million dollar brand because he has complete control over those pictures, over the price, over the offering, right? And check this out. What we could do here is we can actually pull the info from this listing to see how much he's making. And so instead of chopping this up, right, and sending this profit off to somebody else, this guy right here, this is a third party seller, a regular person like me and you, he's doing over 965 sales a month and he's making over $44,000. A private label seller, this is a person like me and you, making over $44,000 a month, leveraging Amazon FBA, doing private label, and selling meal prep bags, right? Let's check this guy. So there's the other private label seller. He's selling indoor baby swings. He's not chopping that up with anybody else. He's not paying a brand. He doesn't have to compete with other sellers on his listing. He has complete control over his product and his brand. And he's selling 365 swings a month and making over $14,000 for his business, a regular person. And so that's the power of Amazon FBA. And those are the examples of private label versus reselling, right? So now you know those two different ways to sell on Amazon and why they're effective. So let's break it down real quickly again. Private label, if you wanna sell tumblers, right? What we would do then is you would find manufacturers who specialize in making those tumblers. You then put your own logo on it and package it in your own branded packaging to sell on Amazon. So for example, you see how this is BB Kids and you could see here, they put their logo on it, right? The BB Kids logo and same thing with ThinkFit. They made their own logo here. They found a manufacturer who makes this bag. They put their logo on it, and now they private label that brand and sell it on Amazon. And here's some stats. You could pause the video and you could read through these. But actually, 58% of all sales on Amazon are made by third-party sellers and private label sellers. Over 58%. So we actually sell on Amazon more than Amazon sells on Amazon. And you could read through the rest of this, but if you even look through your past orders and you were to look through all of the orders that you had on Amazon this past week, I guarantee you that 60 or 70% of those are actually from people just like me. So it's an amazing stat. Now let's quickly go through why private label is the best way to sell on Amazon. Now you saw some reasons why is because you're, comp you're competing with other people. You don't really have control. You're hidden and down below if you don't have the lowest price. But let's go over some things, right? As far as brand ownership. Now, with private label versus reselling, with private label, it's the only way to actually have brand ownership. You own that brand. You control that brand. And then that means it's, you know, you can, you can do the things that you want to do with it to be successful. You know, you ever be at work and you're like, man, if we could just do it this way, I know that it would be right. I know that it would be successful. But maybe your boss says, no, you don't have control over your outcomes, right? And with private label, we do. 
Secondly, control over your product. With private label, we have complete control over the product, but we're reselling, we don't. That other brand owner has control, not us. Third, the sellable asset, right? So private label, when you build your own brand, it's actually a sellable asset. You can sell that business for four, six, sometimes even 10X multiples because it's a real business, it's a brand, and you could sell that brand to somebody else and you can make a ton of money from it. You can actually get a lot, you know, if you wanted to exit that business, you could get a lot of liquid cash. And also the profit margins. So with profit margins for private label, really what we see is 20% to 40% plus. All my students and people I see, it's 30% to 50% plus for as far as profit margins for private label. And reselling, it's only five to 10%. And you can see why now, right? And so in short, you make more money when you sell your own stuff versus other people's stuff, right? And this is how you can create a long-term, sustainable, cash-flowing asset because you have complete control over your brand, your product, your price, your pictures, and your quality. And that's what we want to do. That's why we get into financial freedom, time freedom, all of the great things that you're able to achieve with the business, and it's because you have control over it. You're not giving the control to somebody else. If something happens and or somebody says something else that affects you, no, all of your decisions and your, uh, you know, the way that you run your business will affect how much money you make. And that's a great thing because when we do things right and when we do things properly into high quality, it always has a huge positive ROI. And so that's why what that's what private label is and why private label is the best way to use Amazon FBA.